Welcome back folks to Let's Play Discworld 2! When we last left off, we went and got pictures of the Elf Queen. And you may wonder why I'm standing in a different position in Holywood. The reason why is because... I totally forgot to save after doing all of the stuff last video, and just had to redo it all. But hey! I redid it all. I have now in my possession the film of the Elven Queen. Film of the Elf Queen, eh? Hmm. We better get a big screen for this one. Let's go! I have what you require. Hello, luggage. You just stay there while I provide these pictures. Excellent. This should right. work. Stand back and here we go. Smokin. Well, that worked. And we have a few pictures left. Leftover film of the Elf Queen, eh? Still some good footage here. Right. We will be using that later on. We will be using that later on. For now, we want to go over to the set, because clearly we have everything we need now. And there's Death. Yes, I'm not sure this is really quite his look. I better him? not disturb him at this time. He's a method actor, you know. Let's Although, what method, nobody knows. Let's talk to Dibbler. We have everything now. That's it. I think we have everything. The jingle, the band, the girl, the novelties. Not to mention that the lead actor's out of makeup and ready to go. Right then. So it's lights, camera, angstrom. Don't you mean action? Oh, well, I suppose so, if you think that's easier. Come on, we've got some filming to do. I'm ready for my close-up now, Mr. Dibbler. Oh. <laughs> All right! Lights! Camera! Achtung! Action! Actinium, I'll get on with it! Death. Now is the winter of our discontent, made all the more drizzly by the lack of death. Ooh, to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether to be extremely cool, reach the heights of fashion and snuff it, or to keep drawing breath and lose all fashion sense forevermore. So, what do you think? I'm trying not to. Ready? Cue piano! Piano? Roll them! Make up! Now is the winter of our discontent, made all the more drizzly by the lack of uh, death. Ooh, to be or not to be, that's the question. Uh, whether to be extremely cool, reach the heights of fashion uh, and snuff it, or to keep drawing breath and lose all fashion sense forevermore. Ready for the porcelain scene? Um, <laughs> look, look, can we just discuss this script for a moment? Roll em! Make up! <laughs> now is the, the, the winter of our, of our tent, the discontent. Made all the more drizzly by the by the lack lack of death. Oh, oh to be or, or or not not to be that 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 is the answer. Uh, whether to be extremely cold, reaching the the heights of fashion and and sniffing, or or to keep drawing breath and lose all fashion sense forevermore. This is gonna get worse, isn't it? Okay, everyone. The being smashed by a safe scene. Yep. And roll them. No, 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 look here. Make up. 
Now, Mr. Dibbler, now! What? What's he talking about? Oh, dear. Nothing, love, nothing. Now, look, I've told you before, it'll be far too messy. Help! I want to see my agent. All right, now, Def, stand by for Julian's extra special scene. And cue... Yeah, yeah, wait, wait a minute. What, 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 what's all this about a special scene? Hmm. Read your script, love. Here, Julian, explain how this next bit goes, will you? It goes whoosh, blam! Stuff flying everywhere! Oh. Did you not tell our boy that there were special scenes involved? I'm not doing it. Oh. No, all right. I'll go and find a stunt double. Honestly, you get some people in front of a camera and they think they're the Queen of the May. A skeleton stunt double, indeed. We need to go find a stunt double. I mostly remained silent for that because... Well, it's Death's first acting, uh, gig, and I thought I'd be quiet for it. For the most part, it gets very silly later. But yes, we need to go and find Death a stunt double. And funnily enough, we in fact know of a location of a stunt double. Sort of. Okay, we know another skeleton that happens to be walking around. That's probably about as good as we're gonna get. This is the wrong side of town. This is the right side of town. Do you remember the, uh, black sheep? Luggage, where are you going? Luggage, I kind of need... Oh, can we just go in? We can! And now... I believe our resident Banshee, who has finally found a voice, wishes to witness for us. Brother Banshee? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, Reg. Thank you. And I think that what I mean to say by thank you is a uh, thank us. A thank you addressed to all of us in that we are all part of the same body. Well, not exactly the same body physical body, but the same spiritual body, even though we are all actually inside bodies which are, in fact, spiritual. I think what I'm trying to encapsulate here is a sense of out-of-body experience that is an inner body experience for us all. Right on, brother. Yes, yes, exactly. Right on, right on, and in. Seeing as the death within is also without, and exterior being is reflecting external processes, I think what we have here is very, very real. And by real, just let me say that this is also very surreal. Surreal, in that we transcend the essence of the mundane reality to, hmm, to, hmm, to redefine ourselves within the framework of our own perceptions of our role, yeah? And by role, I mean role sounds like role, doesn't it? So, a motion forwards is implied in taking on that nomenclature. <laughs> so, forward motion is an inherent part of us, and as it is of us, it's also not of us, but around us, and through us, and... and... had I finished? Possibly. Anyway, well said, Brother Banshee. That was a very, very long cutscene for Brother Banshee. Will they actually talk now? Excuse me. Shh. No, but we can talk to the black sheep. We need you as the stunt double. And there is a picture of a one-ton anvil. For asking if he'll stand in for death. I was just wondering whether a career in the clickies might be just exactly what you're looking for. <laughs> Oh, I see. The local actors' league won't let you in until you have proof that your family is from overseas. Bloody cheek of some people. Hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll have a look around and see what I can find to help prove your case for sheep in the arse. I'll get some evidence that proves that your ancestors came from distant climes. 
Okay. Oh, that's enough of this conversation for me. And it's actually all we came here to say to this person. There is one place that I think we can most certainly go that is of different climbs. Off we go to Bondi Beach. Now, we still won't find very much here, but we do have the surf. Where is the surf? There it is, the surf. And we do have an ironing board. Let's try and iron on the surf. Will this Not work? Not a bad idea, but the legs seem to get in the way. Ah, fair enough. Do we have a saw? We do. Let us saw off the legs. Why do I suddenly feel like I'm in a sports sim? Because you probably are. Surf's up. Cowabunga, dudes. I've no idea what that means, but it sounds right. Yo. Let's go and surf. This is a terrible idea, Rincewind. Yep. Damn, there must be some way I can stay on this board. There is a way you can stay on the board. It's called glue. Okay, now we're cooking. Let's see me fall off it now. It's a surfboard covered in glue. And that was me just, uh, thinking of the stuff I had in my inventory. Let's try again. Okay, who's showing off now? That would be Ritzwind! Ow! Ah, look at this! Primitive paintings of sheep, preserved here just as they were tens of thousands of years ago. They are, of course, doing just exactly what sheep were also doing tens of dozens of seconds ago. Basically, sheep are just sheep. Let us take a picture of these pictures. And I'm not going to uh, resort out the size of that. Let's take a picture. Excellent. That is what we need. A film of Neolithic sheep artwork. Yes, yeah, not particularly interesting, but I still feel there's an award in this somewhere. Who might want proof that sheep come from a long way away? I think I know of one person. Let us surf again. Fortunately, we don't need to see the uh, cutscene played backwards. Although that would be uh, something that I definitely think the game would do if... Uh, I want to go this way, game. There we go, game. There we go. Back we go to Ankh-Morpork. Back we go to the Shades. Back we go to the Society. They have nothing to say this time, so let's just save. So that I don't do the same thing I did last time, and we shall open the closet and present this information to the black sheep. Here you are. Some evidence that your ancestors came from the land of Forex. Now you can be a stunt sheep. <laughs> no, no, don't thank me. Off we go! Cue death! Now is the winter of our discontent. Here we go again. Made all the more drizzly by the lack of death. Ooh, to be or not to be, that is the question. He's a natural. Whether to be extremely cool, reach the heights of fashion and snuff it, or to keep drawing breath and lose all fashion sense forevermore. Q sheep? Yep. Oh, it's feathers. Fine, everyone. Cut and paint. Ah, this is more of a lark, watching someone else work for a change. That was beautiful, baby. Just beautiful. Excellent. Wait a minute. Feathers? It was just feathers. What? Didn't you read the script? It's Julian's special scene. Ah, oh, showbiz. Fame and fortune, I hear you calling. Ah, please insert disc two. This is the part where it's going to potentially cause a potential issue. 
I shall be back in a moment. For I'm going to have to get to the part where we insert disc two. Until then, folks. Until then, I'll catch you later. And I'll see you then. Later.